If you're like me, you love trying to find unique builds on 2K20. So I decided I might as well make a top 10 rarest builds in all of NBA 2K20 video. If you see a build on this video that you have not seen yet, make sure you drop a like on the video. Now I wanna give honorable mention to a couple builds like the lob threat or the prospect or the rugged wing because they are unique builds, but I feel like people have already talked about them enough. So I decided let's make a new top 10 updated rare builds video okay now i didn't do this all by myself i'm gonna leave the link to uncle demi playmaker nut and void in the description because they helped me to find all these builds but without further ado top 10 rares builds on 2k20 let's get right into it first up we have the three point center now this just came around probably this week people started posting pictures and videos on it this is a very unique build now i'm going to run through very quickly how to create all these builds i'm not really going to explain it you guys can pause the video if you want to actually create the build but you're going to see many of these builds there's very there's very small details in terms of how to get the actual name so you have to be careful when you're doing the attributes but like i said i'm gonna run through really quickly so if you need to pause at any time to create the builds you go right ahead now this three point center i'm not gonna lie it's definitely not the best build none of these builds are like the most comp builds but the names are super duper unique which makes it cool now a lot of the badge spreads are not that great as well as the attribute spreads i mean like you see this one look at the badge spread man it's looking real bad but i mean who has ever seen a three point center in the park i never have i i never even heard of this build until i saw someone post it on twitter the other day but all 10 of these builds in this video are extremely unique names and some of them are actually pretty decent builds I'm not gonna lie some of them are trash like this one is definitely not the best build i feel like if i made it at legend i can make it work because the extra badges but i mean you saw the badge count it's looking real bad but it doesn't matter what takeover you choose as you can see a three point center who's ever heard of that bro anyways on to the next one the next one you might have seen this from my boy la Monster. a three point point power forward what a crazy name for a build now this one is actually it's low-key decent it's not bad at all now all these uh all the builds in this video i choose the speed pie chart i don't think the physical pie chart affects the name or at least i'm not sure i know you can make the same name with multiple different uh physical pie charts and even there's different ways to make the, the builds in general as you guys know but this is just one way to do it i just chose the speed pie chart for all of them to keep it consistent and uh yeah i mean i still got the name but as you can see this build has pretty decent finishing pretty good shooting in terms of you know you're getting 10 shooting badges on a pure playmaker build which isn't bad at all the only thing is you know you only get the three defensive badges was kind of low but this is a crazy unique name a three point point power forward it's even tough to say but you're gonna keep uh this build at six foot nine uh default weight you're gonna lower down the wingspan to 84 inches and as you can see those are gonna be your attributes whatever takeover you want i mean you even get rim takeover on this if you want but obviously i would go with the playmaking if i was actually making this but three point point power forward what a unique build man i i really love the name of it i just wish the build itself was actually a little bit better anyways on to the next one interior big now it doesn't even really i've never seen it in the park i've never seen an interior big but the actual build itself check this out playmaking and shooting this is a build that actually intrigues me i would love to make this and just see what i could do on it especially because the name is gonna throw people off interior big like that sounds like an inside like scoring like like an inside center like a a build that's gonna rebound defend you know score in the paint but it's the the complete opposite this build is like a playmaking shot creator at center like a play sharp at center it, it's really weird and at seven foot three as you're gonna see with max wingspan it would throw people off like crazy okay so you have really good shooting for a seven three player with 18 shooting badges 14 playmaking and you're gonna have hall of fame playmaking badge so you can have quick first step on hall of fame obviously the ball handling is really low because you're seven foot three but you'll be surprised what you could do with hall of fame quick first step and low ball handling you could throw some people off and it would be interesting to see what this build could do obviously you see the takeovers that are your options whatever pick whatever you want and as you can see interior big maybe you guys have seen this before i i really hadn't seen this before until uh we messed around in the my player builder and made it last night especially never seen it with the playmaking and shooting pie chart next up we have a two-way mid-range shooter it, it sounds like kind of like a kobe bryant type of build right a build that can dominate in the mid in the mid-range game you know shooting those fadeaways and stuff like that but also is a very good defender a two-way mid-range shooter i've never seen this build in the park as well as the other ones that's why hey it's making the top 
top 10 rarest builds from me. But check this out, man. If you're still watching the video, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Make sure you guys hit that sub button, man. We're almost at 600,000 subscribers, man. That's almost 60% on our goal to 1 million subs, man. Appreciate everyone watching. Drop a like if you haven't already. Like I said, there's a lot of unique builds in this video. If you need to pause it at any time, go right ahead. But you see the badge spread on this build. It's actually a decent build. You saw, you know, you're getting a lot of defensive badges. It's a very balanced build. Uh, decent height at six foot five. It's not like, you know, you're a small 6'2 guard or something like that. You see the takeovers you get, very good options, lock, shot creator, playmaker, stuff like that. As you can see, a two-way mid-range shooter, similar to Richard Hamilton. You know, it would have been cool if they had Kobe Bryant on there. But you guys know, you know, so it's, a, it's a similar build to Kobe Bryant type of thing. Next up, we have a facilitating shooter, okay? So similar to my facilitating finisher in name, but the build is very, very different. You can see we're choosing the defense and shooting pie chart. But this build, I actually played against it about two to three weeks ago in the park for the first time ever. And I was like, whoa, a facilitating shooter. Never seen that before. And the build was very, very solid. The defense is good. You're going to see the ball handling is actually pretty solid for a build that doesn't have playmaking in it at all. Obviously, you know, the shooting and the defense is going to be there. And then this pie chart is so glitchy because you still get like relatively decent finishing with it. But look at six foot seven. You got great size default wingspan. Look at the take takeovers lock play shot creator really really good takeovers as you can see facilitating shooter this is one of the best builds on this video i'm not gonna lie very very cool name and a pretty good build next up we have a three level playmaker power forward build now the name to me sounds like kind of like a chris weber build but it doesn't really pan out to be a chris weber build fully because i don't know i just feel like chris weber he could do more than what you can do with just the pure shooting pie chart. As you can see, this build was pure shooting pie chart. Now, it does get compared to Kevin Love, as you saw, which I think is a better comparison, but still not really that great. It's just 2K20, man. It's just the way it is. But the name, three-level playmaker, is very unique. Now, obviously, this build is going to have really good shooting because it's pure green pie chart. But the rest of it, I was surprised that it does give you the option of playmaking takeover despite the fact that your ball handling is pretty low, but it does give you play takes. So I guess that's where the name three, you know, three level playmaker comes in. But to me, it just really, the name really doesn't fit the type of build that it is, but it is a unique build. So that's why it's making the list. Minimum wingspan, as you can see, sharp or playmaker takeover. And we get the name three level playmaker. Moving on to a much better build, in my opinion, a two way mid range finisher. Now we had the two way mid range shooter. So now we have the two way mid range finisher, very similar build. But as I said, intricacies, you change and it's going to give you a different name. But as you can see, we still went shooting and defending pie chart. Um, and this build, again, is going to have very good finishing around the basket. So, you know, you get your five finishing badges, but you could see, you know, driving dunk and all that stuff is pretty, pretty good. Good shooting on the build uh, with 12 shooting badges. The playmaking, you know, you have pretty decent ball handling. And we're going to lower the height on this one a little bit. So you're going to have really good ball handling. But look at the defense, man. Maxing it almost all the way out, at least the perimeter stuff. Rebounding goes pretty high. The only thing is down is blocking offensive rebound a little bit. Six foot five. We're going to go minimum weight down to 175. You're going to lower the wingspan. And then check this out. You're going to get your two-way mid-range finisher build in NBA 2K20. We have three unique builds left. The next one is a mid interior facilitator. Okay. Now, again, I had never ever heard of this build mid interior facilitator. You're going shooting and defense pie chart. Again, as I said, we picked the agility because we've picked that on every single build in this video. I, I except for the interior big one, except for the center, everything else. We picked the, uh, the speed pie chart, I believe. But as I said, you could pick whatever you want. I don't think it will affect the name of the build. Now this build itself is not bad. In my opinion, as you can see, you're going to have 10 shooting, 10 playmaking, and then a good amount of defensive badges as well. So anytime you could do that on a build, it's going to be pretty effective in the park or uh, pro-am whatever you guys decide to play six foot seven you got good height on this build you're going to lower down the weight you know get a little bit more agility and vertical on the wingspan you're going to leave it default look at the options slasher shot creator lockdown playmaker great 
takeover options for you and you get mid interior facilitator i had never heard of this build a day in my life until i found it last night mid interior facilitator now the next one's very similar you just saw it. mid interior playmaker okay so as i said some of these builds the intricacies to change the name are very very slight that's why you got to make the at make sure you do the attributes correctly so we had mid interior facilitator now this one's mid interior playmaker the only main difference i'm going to see is you're going to do more playmaking to get the playmaker name which means you're gonna have to upgrade the post moves a little bit everything else is pretty similar to the facilitator version of this build but i decided listen i had never seen either of these names mid interior facilitator mid interior playmaker i had never seen either of them so i decided you know we might as well put them in the video so as you see we're going to upgrade post moves a lot more than we did on the facilitator and that's going to give us the different name now you're not going to get as many defensive badges because we had to put so much attributes into the post moves to change the name so in my opinion the mid-range uh, or the mid interior facilitator is much better than the mid interior playmaker just because you get way more defensive badges But if you want the playmaker name, then obviously you got to make it this way We'll go with slasher takeover Why not and as you can see mid interior playmaker as we said the mid interior facilitator is probably the better build Because of the more defensive badges last but not least we have a small ball wing I have never seen this build in the park not even once a small ball wing wing maybe you guys have but i sure haven't this is a pure shooting pie chart okay and you're gonna max the defense out completely and get nine defensive badges so i guess if you wanted to spot up on this build you know be a you know be a cone catch and shoot and then have i guess kind of decent defense it's an all right build but it's very weird in terms of how you make it putting up the driving dunk just a couple you know maxing out the close shot and then it's like you know you're not upgrading the shooting all the way on a shooting build it's not that great of a build if i'm being honest but a small ball wing is the name very unique and that's what this is top 10 rarest builds in nba 2k20 we're gonna wrap this thing up here hopefully y'all enjoyed the video drop a like if you did you know if you see a build on here that you have never seen before make sure y'all drop a like for me it took me a lot of time into my player builder searching through youtube having my friends help me out trying to find these unique builds so drop a like for me subscribe if you guys are new as you can see the last one is a small ball wing y'all have a great day i'm out peace